Take a look at this. A whopping 34 degrees inside this Mississauga apartment. I'm definitely feeling the heat here. Now, with an extreme heat alert in effect, tenants say it's been unbearable inside their units, but the landlord has been refusing to turn the AC back on. It's been extremely hot because it's extreme weather alert. You know, they should uh, do something, you know, and put the, the AC back on, you know what I mean? Like, that's what I think, you know, but then, you know, we're trying to, you know what I mean, try to cool off, you know, and do so many things, put a pool outside for the kids, you know, stay outside and not try to be inside, you know, because it's hotter in there, you know what I mean? Like, so that's what we're trying to avoid. It was just, it got ridiculous because um, you can't, you can't do anything in this. You can't cook, you can't sleep, you can't clean, you can't do anything. Um, I work nights and I sleep during the days. You can't sleep during the days. Um, so I cursed the management company several times. And uh, when I called them and asked if they had had complaints, they explained to me that it wasn't a management issue. It was the city bylaw. Q follows the laws and city bylaws consistently, not when we choose, not whether circumstances are favorable. We attempted to speak with property managers, Q Residential, and they gave us the same written response that was emailed to tenants, explaining that the city of Mississauga bylaw requires adequate heating of 20 degrees to be provided inside rental units as of September 15th. They say they switched over to heating back when the temperatures dropped to 11 degrees at night and that switching back to AC would take some time. Their statement goes on to read, the city of Mississauga bylaw will not allow us to turn the AC back on. If you would like to get this changed, talk to your regional councillor to get the bylaws changed. We reached out to the city of Mississauga, which could not provide us with a spokesperson today, but clarified in an email, the requirements are that heat be available to all residences as of September 15th. There's no requirement for air conditioning or maximum heat. It goes on to say, this time of year is always challenging with the fluctuating changes in heat, especially with dropping evening temperatures. Compliance and licensing regularly reviews the dates of heating requirements and have found the date to be factually the best time. I think it's totally asinine. I think the bylaw has to make a concession. Uh, I don't think management should be threatened with fines um, when we hit 30 or 32 degrees. Um, the humidity, as far as I know, went up to almost 40 yesterday. We asked City Bylaw if they would be taking the heat wave into consideration and if fines would be waived during this time. Their response, there's no automatic fine issued if the heat is not on when the external temperatures are 30 plus. Late this afternoon, we received an email from Councillor Carolyn Parrish's staff who told us she'll be bringing the issue to Council Wednesday to have the bylaw changed. Meanwhile, Q Residential provided sprinklers outside two of its buildings today and extended the hours for their indoor pool. They said they would also lend fans out at tenant request. While the unseasonably warm temperatures will continue into next week, and while it won't be as hot as it is now, October will also see warmer temperatures than usual. In Mississauga, Janella Massa, City News.